while this is charging we'll have a look at some of the features uh, on the drone. Uh, first thing you notice on this, on this drone, you turn it around and you see these two what look like uh, perhaps infrared lights, infrared LEDs um, and right in the middle here potentially is some other kind of sensor. So this drone, um, unlike most drones on the market, it has uh, proper altitude detection uh, so it knows exactly how high it is off the ground at any time. Um, the sensor will fire out the bottom here, bounce off the ground, come back and depending how long that takes it'll know exactly how high it is um, which is perfect for, for beginners and perfect for automated flight. Uh, this drone in particular you can actually program, um, program commands on your computer and, and have it execute those commands. So you might program it to, to take off, to fly forward, to fly back, to turn around, uh, go around the room and land um, and repeat that over and over again. Um, it's excellent for teaching kids uh, how to program uh, simply because uh, it's, it's, it's real. Uh, it's not just something on the screen. Uh, they can put the instructions into the computer um, and then watch it happen in real life on the drone and watch the drone follow those instructions flying around the room, taking off and landing by itself. Uh, so I'm going to put the link, the link uh, below <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, for, that, for that application and some information on that. Um, simple programming language uh, used in, in primary schools and high schools. Uh, certainly uh, makes this um, unlike anything else on the market. Uh, there's no other drone that I'm aware of that you can program um, and the kids can program and learn and learn from. Uh, so yeah, very smart. Uh, I believe it's got uh, 12 or 16 cores. It's got an Intel chipset inside. Uh, very well made. Um, you can see here uh, just on the on the bottom of the uh, of the motors is a rubberized uh, finish, uh, high quality materials, no carbon fiber unlike most drones, but it's it is plastic, but it is still very sturdy um, and well designed. So you can see, for instance, uh, these little uh, these little uh, canals here where the the wires for the motors go, so they're protected. I go straight in under that. Um, the, the design is, uh, is, is really something on this. Uh, I believe the, the top will actually come, come right off. Yeah, there we go. So you can actually uh, replace that top with, uh, with uh, you know, a different color or a different uh, picture and all kinds of things. Um, Gearbest, I believe, have uh, a few of those, a few different images, make it a bit more exciting uh, for kids. But yeah, you can see that the whole top of the drone is is, is uh, consumed by the battery, and uh, really it's just the the bottom part which has all your your CPU power, you know, your smarts, and and your sensors. We can see on the corner here is your on and off switch. So we just hold that down a few seconds to turn it on and off. Uh, I've 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 never had a, a uh, an incident where it's it's um, it's turned on while I was near it, or I've n and I've never been uh, never been scared about this, um, you know, uh, turning on accidentally. It's it seems to be very smart in its design. Um, so uh, you'll see a bit later when I fly, even when it crashes, uh, when it hits something. So if it hits hits a wall or falls down, it stops straight away. It it stops until you come and pick it up and press press the button. Um, other drones on the market, they'll sit there on the ground, zzz, breaking propellers, damaging things, damaging themselves. But this drone is, is very smart uh, and, and it, won't, it won't do that. Um, it actually seems to take uh, evasive action uh, if, it, if it feels it's going to crash. So, uh, for example, if you go up and hit the ceiling or if you hit, just hit glance on something, it'll suddenly it'll drop and move away uh, very very smartly it'll just move away from where it thinks the danger is and self-correct um, so uh, yeah a lot of a lot of thinking has gone into this 
this little drone. Uh, it's not uh, your typical um, $20 special, I guess. It's it's a, a little bit more money, but uh, for that extra money, uh, you really get a lot of value. Um, so it comes with these these protectors here. You can take off uh, when you're when you're feeling more confident. You get much better flight time and much better agility without these, uh, but certainly I'd recommend keeping them on while you're still learning to fly this thing. What I'm going to do now is show you how to uh, use uh, a game controller with the drone. So uh, you can buy a controller. Gibbe sells one for about fifty dollars. Uh, it's a very nice controller that has a spot for your phone. I'd probably recommend that if you can get it. Uh, but at least while you're waiting. Um, for a proper controller, you can use uh, PlayStation uh, 4, PlayStation 3, Xbox. Um, you can probably even get um, you can probably even get things that uh, that mounted mount uh, your phone on the top. But uh, it's actually quite easy to set up. So all we need to do is to, with your controller off, uh, hold down the share button uh, here and the PlayStation button, and look out on the front for the light. Hold both of those down. and it's flashing. And while it's flashing we just go to the Bluetooth uh, setup uh, on the phone and we'll refresh that and then you'll see it comes up here wireless controller so we just have to press that it pairs it'll ask if you want to share your contacts and everything you don't need to do that just press pair now this mostly only works I believe on Android, I think iPhones are a bit more difficult uh, but if you've got an Android phone uh, you're all set. So that's paired, uh, I can now use my PlayStation controller for other video games on the phone um, but certainly I can use it for flying the drone. Go into that app, it looks much the same as the uh, DJI official app. Um, we'll just set up our Wi-Fi, so I press here and we just refresh and uh, of course we've got to turn we've got to turn the drone on so we hold down hold down the button on the side and you see the lights on the front okay that's that uh, we hit we hit refresh and after a few seconds Yes, it is. There we are. So we can now see the Tello, so that's used for the video and for controlling it. It's connecting and it's connected. connected. So we can go back into our app. There we are. Now, one thing you might notice when using a Bluetooth controller is the Bluetooth can actually interfere with the video signal a little bit. So try to keep them apart in terms of the drone and the controller. Um, but you can see. Uh, and see that's uh, now connected. Now what I'm going to do is just uh, put it put it over on the floor and, uh, and have a quick have a quick fly around and show you how it works with the uh, with the controller. Now I have my controller. Um, if, if I wish, I can use I can use this now. There are things on uh, Gearbest, I believe, and other places to buy uh, to mate made it up here or you can buy a controller on Gearbest. I'll put the link down below that actually has has uh, a built-in a proper controller with the, the screen mount. Uh, but yeah we're just going to use this PlayStation controller. Now on the ATELO app we're just going to go to the launch button here. Hold that down for one two seconds. itself. Simple as that. Hands-free control. And it's just floating there. All by itself. So now I'm going to use PlayStation controller. Go up. The 
controls are already mapped, so I've got right, left, and up, down. find the controls are a bit more intuitive. Okay, so <laughs> I'll crash right there. You'll notice that straight away the drone has actually, it knows that it's crashed and it's stopped. It's turned off the blades, so it's very good for a beginner. Okay, now we're going to have a look at programming the DJI Tello using Scratch. Now, Scratch is a program language made for uh, beginners and, and, and kids uh, to, to learn how to program. It's used uh, uh, throughout uh, primary school and, and secondary school and uh, it's, it's free to download so all you have to do is go to scratch.mit.edu slash download. Uh, I'll put the link uh, down below choose your version. Uh, I'm just going to download the Windows version, uh, which I've already done. I'm going to install that. Now we go to more blocks. Here you can see we've got now uh, take off, land, fly up, uh, rotate, set speed. Uh, so I'm going to make a quick little script here to demonstrate how this works. So I'm going to go 